Hi everyone, I make the presentation of the paper on the mathematical modeling of visual sensors with computing coverage metrics in camera-based sensing applications. This paper was written by me, Daniel Costa, and Professor João Paulo Peixoto, and we are both from Brazil. This is the outline of the presentation. I will make a brief introduction to visual sensing, presenting the two considered coverage models in this work. I will talk about the computing coverage area and targets coverage and tracking, which are both used as evaluation methods in this work. I will discuss uh, about interaction between visual sensors when consider the models. I will present the numerical results of this work and the conclusions. Sensors equipped with cameras can view the monitor field in multiple ways. Actual visual data is highly relevant sensor data because we can use a lot of different visual computing algorithms to perform different tasks that are very useful for a lot of applications. Although relevant, the use of cameras is not straightforward demanding proper configuration and positioning. The question we, we have to make is how well are the cameras viewing the monitoring field? Uh, in order to answer this question frequently, mathematical models are used to support button planning without requiring actual deployment, so reducing, reducing costs. Mathematical models have been created to compute visual sensing coverage. And we have different possibilities in the literature. But what's the best option? When concerning visual sensors, two major solutions have been adopted uh, more often to compute the FOV, the field of view. We have in the left the triangle FOV model. In the right, we have the sector FOV. We can see they have uh, a sensor position defined by the vertex, vertex A, they have a view angle, and three vertices are defined. But uh, in the left, the area is defined by an exhaustive triangle. In the right, we have a sector of a circumference. There are different uh, coverage objectives, but two of them are very uh, often considered in different works. We have the area coverage, we have the targets coverage. What's the best model to support uh, this type of coverage objectives? We don't know, but we can check the confidence in the computational, computational course of these models in order to decide what's the best option or what are the drawbacks and advantage of each model. In this figure here, we have the triangle, uh, the triangle FOV, the sector FOV. They define different uh, FOV, and there is a difference between them, depending on the, the sensing radius and the view angle, we, the difference will uh, vary considerably. When computing coverage area, we have different equations, of course, since they are different geometric forms. So the first evaluation we made was to consider, consider uh, the coverage area computation problem, considering random orientations in different sensing radios for a lot of execution from 1,000 to 10 million uh, sequential computations. In this first experiment, we have uh, the triangle FOV taking uh, a little longer to execute but the average FOV was shorter when compared to the sector FOV because of the, the geometric form they, they define. Okay, so it was already expected. We consider target coverage problem, it's a bit different because we are concerned with the uh, identification of targets and if they are being viewed by the, the defined visual sensor. Uh, in fact, there are different ways to, to define targets, but a very common way is to define targets as points, as dots. Uh, it's a simplification that is uh, very uh, helpful for many monitoring scenarios. 
this particular case, a target is viewed if it is inside the FOV of any visual sensor. In this example, we have uh, both both models. In the left, the triangle FOV, these two dots, these two targets are not being viewed, but the same configuration of targets we consider a different, uh, a different visual sensing model, these targets are not being viewed. We have the same view angle, the same, same sensing radius, the same computation of the, the vertices of the FOV, but the effectively, effectively viewing area is different, affecting the way targets will be viewed by, by the visual sensing application. Uh, there are different ways to compute coverage, the coverage of, of targets as points. In the paper, we describe four different uh, methods using the sum of triangles, we consider the, the target will be a vertex of three different triangles and the sum of the triangles must be equal to the sum of the original FOV. It's, it's uh, already described in the literature. And we also consider more elaborated methods, methods for the second FOV using distance and normal vectors to indicate if a target is being viewed, viewed or not. Again, we consider random configurations of visual sensors and targets. And for the performed evaluation, the triangle of UV, once again, uh, took more time to execute a sequential high number of, of computations. What's interesting to see uh, in this evaluation is that the percentage of viewer targets, because, okay, we, we define a square monitoring field with targets at random positions and one single visual sense also in random positions. The percentage, the average percentage of targets viewed for the triangle FOV was 3.83%, which is almost half the percentage of targets viewed by the sector FOV. Okay, it's, uh, it's huge. But if you consider the sense angle, sense angle of 60 degree, which is a very common angle when consider real visual sensing applications, real hardware, the difference decreases to only 22%. It's highly acceptable in any case. Okay, a third method of comparison between the two considered models is the interaction between, between visual sensors. Uh, okay, cover, uh, the computation of the coverage area and targets view is, is really important for, for many applications, but there are all the very complex configurations that have to be considered. One of them is the overlapping between visual sensors. It is important when we are computing availability, when we are computing redundance between visual sensors, because the area that's been viewed concurrently by two or more visual sensors has to be computed to indicate, I don't know, some availability uh, indication or some resistance to failures in a network, for example. In the left, we have the triangle FOV with two visual sensors. The overlapped area is a polygon with six sides, okay, it's, it's easy to compute the area of this polygon. But if we consider the sector FOV, we have here two curves that are very complex. This is not a polygon and we have to apply integration to compute definitively uh, overlap the area viewed by both visual sensors. It's not that simple. For example, uh, th this is uh, this equation are defined in the paper. For the FOV triangle, we have only first degree equations with low computational costs. But when we consider the FOV sector, the intersection between a curve and uh, a line is much more complex because we are in this case considering a second degree equation, which is much more complex and demand more computational course. 
So while the sector FOV performed better for added coverage and targets viewing, it may not be the case for more complex computation. But, however, numerical evaluations for these scenarios are expected for future works since they are much more complex to perform and in this initial evaluation we want to focus on more common uh, executions of visual sensing models. In this case, we create a simulation environment uh, dedicated for target viewing implement both models, considering uh, a simulation of automatic, automatic packet conveyor belt that's been viewed by cameras on opposing sides, night cameras in each side, with 50 targets at random initial positions moving from the left to the right. This simulation environment was programmed in Python. We also created a, a small code in Java for visualization. This is an example of a visualization in Java. In Java, we have uh, the FOV triangle. We have the same configuration of targets, the same configuration position in this case for visual sensor, but using different models. For example, we have the blue dots are not be viewed by, by a visual sensor and the red dots be viewed by at least one visual sensor. So we have here, this dot is not being viewed by this visual sensor modeled as a triangle, but the same target is being viewed by a visual sensor if it was modeled as a sector. Of course, in this case, we, we will have different results depend on the employed model. Then we consider a simulation for 1000 seconds assuming that every second a new target enters the conveyor belt at a random position and that initially the belt is empty. So the initially we have no percentage of viewer targets and as new targets enters new targets in the belt, we have higher percentage of viewer targets. Okay, for every second targets move one meter from the left to the right, and the conveyor, conveyor belt is 500 meter long. The first result, we, we here we have average result, we execute 100 sequential tests, since we use random values, and all results here are average results after 100 consecutive executions. In this additional uh, evaluation, we have a uh, sensing a viewing angle of 60 degree and a sensing radius of 100 meters. The same configuration, but for view, for uh, visual sensors with 120 degrees of viewing angle and sensing radius with 140 meters. In this case, the difference increase because we have uh, the difference between the sector of your V and the triangle of your V is higher in this case. So we, we have different uh, results concerning target viewing. What are the conclusions? Uh, the initial simulations present different results for the models, okay? But can we already say that one model is better than the other? My opinion is that this triangle of your V is closer to the reality since images are usually see, seen as planes. So although in the initial simulations, initial uh, experiments, we can say that, okay, sector FOV had lower computational course with better uh, performance, the triangle FOV is closer to the reality and I believe it's better to model visual sensors triangles. But we still, have all the issues to consider. The complex targets, okay, targets as dots is too simple. We may process targets as geometrical forms and we have different complexities. And we also have to compute the area coverage with the sections. As future works, we have extensions to the models and uh, we also plan to make additional simulations. Thank you very much.